Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to check out the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. A pretty neat machine we just got from Elegoo. We'll hit the power switch. We'll let it power up. But yeah, I really like this uh, tilt lid. Unlike the uh, Mars series that you gotta take the lid off find somewhere to put it just tilt that up it's out of the way it's got a nice big uh build plate in here it's doing its uh power on sequence it's gonna go through and uh check out all these things and uh start marking them off the list It's got a little AI camera in there. It can help detect uh, failed prints, and you can also just watch your prints. We've got some teeny tiny cinder blocks on here. Little print I'm doing. It's calibrating the mechanical sensor. So at this time, we don't want to touch the printer. Let it do its thing. We're using, uh, not that, not that, but this ABS like resin, <clears throat> gray in color. Yeah, so when you start this machine up, it uh, takes a minute to get warmed up and goes through its whole checklist. Ooh, equipment malfunction. Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll hit restart on there and see if it works this time. But, while that gets warmed up, um, show you some of the stuff we've done. Then these little teeny tiny cinder blocks. We got slightly bigger cinder blocks. There's are three or four sizes of cinder blocks. Get my fingernail in there. Oop. So tiny, yep. Playing with that. It, it pumps them out pretty fast. <laughs> That's for sure. We got our uh, curing station and wash station. Okay, so now this is uh, made it past its calibration point. A couple neat features on this is this uh, vat tilts down so after each layer it tilts off to release rather than just the z-axis coming up on the build plate it's a uh, auto leveling build plate and it's got this uh, quick detach thing pulled off there you can see our prints resin all over the place another neat thing about this is See how we drip some resin right there? We'll get a paper towel and we'll clean that up. The Saturn IV Ultra comes with this neat little uh, drip tray thing. So while we're in here messing with our build plate and our prints, this will cover up the gap in between the build plate and the the rest of this stuff because with the tilting mechanism you know we have bad lighting in here but this bed tilts down in there so if we were to get resin down in that crack I don't know what would happen but I know it probably would not be good the 
This offers uh, <clears throat> you can print from the USB card or you can uh, hook it up to Wi-Fi and print through Wi-Fi which is uh, at first I didn't think I would like it but it's pretty nice sitting at the computer instead of having to uh, come out here with the USB drive I just hit print and I can watch it on my uh, little camera takes off and goes and we're happy the Mars 4 Ultra can also do the same thing it's also Wi-Fi enabled but yeah I just wanted to make a little video on the Elgu Saturn 4 Ultra for you guys definitely a cool machine uh, lots of technology packed into it Um, basically the only thing I don't really like about it is the, in here, when it flashes its LCD screen, this lights up with the UV light, which then shines out onto here, and, uh, it shouldn't be an issue, but it's kind of, sometimes, you know what I mean, I'll set my tools there, or set my uh, funnel or just kind of stuff that's got resin on it get set there and uh, I don't think that's helping it not cure so uh, <laughs> something to keep in mind so we don't have cross contamination of the UV light curing our uncured resin when we don't want it to uh, they could do with the little handle on here because this kind of sits down flush and with one hand it's hard to pick up with two hands just one on each side it's it's really easy so but you can probably uh, 3d print a handle another thing I've seen is uh, you can print to have your build plate go on an angle so you can let it drain I have something like that for the Mars 4 Put that on there, then uh, whoop, on there, put your build plate and it'll hang on angle. It'll sit down there and drain better. So, need to make one of those for this. And a handle. Besides that, I really like it. Not that those things bother me, but definitely a cool printer. And, uh, yeah, I mean, right from the factory it's making uh, if this will focus these little cinder blocks that are very very small maybe if I cover this up whoop, there we go like that's tiny I don't have much out here I mean I guess there's a razor knife just to give you an idea how tiny little cinder blocks are and it, it prints them perfect no complaints um yeah I haven't had any issue with the prints on there with the cinder blocks uh we start making some bigger ones and we're doing it on the Mars 4 Ultra and it was having some support issues making the blocks not come out perfect on some of them but on the Saturn 4 Ultra we got uh it's little teeny tiny blocks they come out perfect. Very nice. We got the whole Elegoo set up. We got the Elegoo uh, Mercury XS, Wash and Cure Station, a couple Mars 4 Ultras, and the Saturn 4 Ultra. Getting into the resin printing. And uh, seems pretty cool. I like the small details that it can do. Something after you let your printer sit for a while and you have resin still in your vat, you're going to want to stir it up. So we can do this. You can kind of see how it's separated and has that white film on the bottom. This has been sitting for, I don't know, almost a week. I should have it going non-stop. But... 
maybe we'll get it going today or tomorrow. Yeah, we just want to really make sure our resin is uh, nice and mixed up in here. You always want to use either this plastic scraper or something soft. Don't ever use your metal scraper on here. It's going to mess it up. You don't want to mess it up. Yeah, it's very nice. I uh, I recommend it. The pre-order was like four hundred dollars, and uh, I think it's worth it. It's got uh, a lot of technologies taken over. There's not a lot of settings you can mess with on your splicer program, and once you get it going, you can uh, choose on here to uh, your print mode. Print mode. We got low speed and we got high speed, and both of them are pretty fast. <laughs> I think it's like 25 minutes on slow speed for this uh for these cinder blocks. I haven't messed with it on high speed. I'm I'm sure it's great on high speed, but uh, I'm just really trying to focus on quality, and I don't really mind waiting. You know what I mean? If this cycle time's 25 minutes. For these uh, little cinder blocks, I don't know how fast the fast setting would be. It'd probably be faster, but would it lower the quality? I don't know, but i um, get plenty of time and being patient, so good enough for me. Another little car cork is uh, the Wi-Fi antenna, the USB drive, the power switch and the power input are all on the right hand back side of this thing and how I had it envisioned was is going to actually be up against this wall tighter but I have to leave a little gap so I can get my USB drive in there and get to the on and off switch you know I mean it's not the end of the world it just doesn't work the best for my setup we'll flip this lid down you can see the size of the Saturn IV Ultra compared to the Mars IV Ultra. Like I said before, we we're using the ABS-like resin in there for our little cinder blocks. It seems to work good. In the Mars IV, we've done the the rapid resin and then the standard resin. Um, the standard resin makes like the supports almost fall right off like it's it's too easy the rapid resin makes the supports stick a little bit better and a little bit harder to get off still not super hard but it's like so I start messing with uh, mixing the two because this supports fall right off this they're a little tougher you get them in between and the uh, ABS, all I've done with the ABS is uh, make these cinder blocks, so I can't really comment on how well the supports come off. If anything, I think the ABS and the rapid resin are uh, very similar in how they print and the supports release from the part. The standard resin, it releases a lot easier. This is the test print, the rook. Turned on all right. I haven't messed with any settings. I'm kind of a plug and play kind of guy. Plug her in, send it. Hope for the best. Which that's where Elagoo has been uh, very good. We used to have Creality printers and there was a lot of tinkering with those. Then we got into Elagoo and it was Basically plug and play. Loving it. We got a whole, I think, what is that? Probably like 1600 cinder blocks. We got a bunch of ABS like resin. A thing of rapid resin left. 
Just trying to get this whole uh, little resin room set up. We'll step over here. Definitely a mess right now. We also got these some engine block, but some little 3D printed killdozers. Pretty neat. But yeah, thanks for tuning in to my uh, video where I talk about the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra and mention my resins in the Mars IV Ultra. All pretty neat machines. Um, I hope this helped you uh, make a decision on if you would want to get a Elegoo resin printer or not. I like them. Yeah, I hope you all have a great day. If you have any questions uh, or anything you want to see, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see what I can do. We'll try to get this little uh, resin room cleaned up. I was just kind of coming out here. It's like, you know what? I'll make a video for the YouTubes on the Saturn IV Ultra. Been meaning to. Just been too busy enjoying life. Being on the river. But yeah, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit that like button. And if you're not already, consider subscribing for more content. Hope you all have a great day. Later.